overall, I'm this game. This game was literally top to bottom great. It's no. Let, let's check out some stats. It's. It was just really just perfect. If you really think about it, this game was literally perfect. He said, Donovan said, I'll try to be nice to Cleveland. Nah, you can't be nice to Cleveland. Come on, man. But, yeah. This, uh. Hey, where the stats at? There we go. Snoop did that little run at the end. So, let's look at some stats, y'all, from this game. So, Herbert. 39 attempts, 22 complete for 195 yards. Lamar, 27 attempts, 19 complete for 167 yards. Then he got two interceptions. That one interception at the end, that was on Bateman, but really the game has already, already been over. Uh, but see, man, it's just like perfect. Mark Andrews, Marquise. Just perfect, really. It was just so, so balanced. He said, you live in Ohio. The Browns in Arizona. I still, I still got Arizona beating them. I still got Arizona beating them. Now, the question is... Is the Browns going to play like how they played last week with the Chargers? Because that in itself is interesting. Because you see what we just got through doing with the Chargers. If Lamar didn't give them the ball right back with their first interception, they possibly could have goose-egged this thing. They really could have goose-egged them. Defense came back and they was like, nope. Not happening. Uh, that that weird. And they was like, "This is not happening." After uh, last week, they wanted to make sure Anthony Averett got back on his task. He did his thing. He was not rotisserie chicken this this week. This game, he, he won. They tried him. They got him on one play, which was a slant. That's hard to stop. But other than that, he shut it down. And the thing, too, is that the Chargers, they kept going for, like, on fourth. Even in, like, the first quarter, they did their challenge play. They were just doing, like, a lot of questionable things. Even going for that fourth down in our territory i'm like we literally have justin tucker like are you it, even if we don't get y'all don't get it and we get the ball back we don't get a touchdown we're gonna automatically get three points like why would you put yourself in that predicament and then like justin herbert on what what is one of them fourth down like fourth and five or fourth and three something like that he threw the Marlon Humphrey side. Like, why would you throw to one of my to our number one cornerback? And then on top of that, you threw it to a. Uh, I believe they said the dude was a rookie wide receiver. You know that? Come on. Now the Chargers did drop a lot, but that didn't affect the score. That wasn't going to affect the score. So that's just like crazy to me. I'm sitting here like, what what charges? What are y'all doing? Y'all y'all had a really good game last week where it's back and forth, back and forth, but this week it's like y'all, y'all was so afraid of Bateman. You were so afraid you doubled Hollywood, which I can agree. They were playing like 10 yards back from them. But then you know the run game was just killing them. Then they try to stop the run game. Then Lamar was just dicing them up with uh, Andrews and 
uh, Brown a couple of times. It's just like mainly with Andrews, really. Because with Andrews, he was just like doing little simple out routes and just getting them. I uh, said, so this game was really bad. Dev was tearing him up in special teams with the returns. I thought he was going to return one. I thought he was going to return one. He got really close. But it's like, man, I haven't seen us play like this balanced in a good minute. No nail biter game. No, everything was just smooth and perfect. I know us Ravens fans, Raven Fly, we just finally had our chance to just sit there, to watch the game and relax. It was like, oh, this is game. This is game. Mainly after that, was well, that third, I think the third TD? I was like, oh, yeah. It ain't no coming back. It ain't no way they going to, the Ravens defense, they ain't going to let that come back. And then they was shutting down the screens. That was beautiful work. That was just, man, like a work of art. Le'Veon Bell got his first TD. That was great. He had eight carries for 18 yards. Devontae Freeman did his thing. Literally, all our running backs did their thing. Got, got a... Uh, they got the rushing TD. They just making it easy for Lamar. Devontae Freeman got a TD. Murray got a TD. Bell got a TD. Everybody. That was just like, it kind of feels weird after so many weeks of nail-biting games and Lamar had to carry the team. I believe this is the first game. Lamar literally was just like, okay, I finally can just take a breather. Let me just do a little this and that. I don't have to put on my Superman cape. Let me just <sighs> let the game come to me. And that's what he did. But, man. And then next week, we're moving on to the, uh, to the Bengals. That's going to be a good game. Let's see how, because the Bengals have been stepping it up this year. They, they, they a sleeper. So far, they are a sleeper. Grandpa Simpson over there with the, with the, uh, with the Steelers. They ain't doing much of anything. They were super happy what they did with Denver, but I'm like, look what the Ravens did for Denver, did to Denver. I wonder how the Browns going to play. That's going to be interesting to see how they play against the uh, Arizona after how they played last week with the Chargers. It's like the Ravens are on just a, another level right now. And it don't seem like they're going to slow down one bit. Then later on in the year, we finally get a uh, running back. Hopefully, Bozeman is going to be better because they, they, they could have had him back out there. They say he had a little back soreness. He was walking around and everything looking like he's ready to go, but they playing it safe, and I don't blame him because he's been a great, great center with Lamar. He had one mishap. He gave up one sack in this game, and that literally was it. So y'all, hopefully y'all enjoyed that like I did, man. It, this chill game was very needed. We really needed this chill game. Heart wasn't beating all fast and everything. Rocky, what's up, fam? He said, hoping Latavius is only a few weeks he was coming along strong. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I believe it because then I believe... Don't we have after the, um, let me see, after the, uh, go to the schedule. I think after we play the, uh, the Bengals next week, I think it's a buy right after that, ain't it? Yep. Yep. After the Bengals, there's a buy. So I will, I will rest, 
uh, I will see how Latavius coming along. Cause it looked like he kind of pulled something. I don't know what he pulled, but he wasn't putting a lot of pressure on the back. He grabbing the back of his leg. But special team, Justin Tucker did his thing. Defense spectacular. It's really, that's all I can really say, y'all. I, I I really don't know what to say. They it looked like they took out PQ though. And that was interesting. They took out PQ and uh what's that? Uh Josh uh Bond. He did very good taking his spot. Harrison did good. That makes me think about PQ. It's not it's not looking and I know he's very, very young. He's only twenty two years old. But we got to see where his maturity level is at. Because when they showed him on the sideline while the game was still going, he was looking very, very mad. Cause like he's, He was looking like, man, I should be out there. Oh, but I'm like, bro, you ain't playing that good, dog. Then when Josh Bonds and Harrison now was out there, they was flying to they running back. They was in the backfield just stopping the screens and everything. Even at that tackle PQ stop, it was like uh the running back went straight through that hole. PQ almost missed him. He literally almost missed the dude. Yep, Darren, he got benched. I seen that. At first, I was like, where PQ at? Then I was like, oh, you know how they do the sub. Then I seen him on play. Then next thing you know, he just disappeared. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. PQ need to get on that Lamar slash Hollywood diet and put on 10 to 15. He probably need to muscle up a little bit. Because his and to me, his main focus, linebacker, it's stopping the run, like filling up them holes. See, you seeing the screen set up? You were in the middle of the field, dude. Like you should be okay. This let me let me study this to do to do. But he's not. But he's still all wet behind your ears. He's very young. So it's gonna be interesting to see how what they do with that. But yeah, I'm finna get to this uh I'm going to get to doing this video edit real quick for the uh, the highlights and everything. So look out for that. Maybe uh, okay, it, it takes me a, a good minute. So look out for that. I'm going to be working on that. It should come out today. So that's what happens when we have early games, y'all. I, I get finally get some time to knock that out. That was a dominating game. I can't wait to hear what they say about this game or they might give us the same treatment and they just don't want to give us no respect. So I'm expecting that as well, but I'm going to check out this, uh, this Browns and Arizona game. I might turn on the cowgirls to see them play the Patriots, but I think the cowgirls is going to beat the Patriots because Patriots is not all of that. I'm not going to watch that tonight game because that tonight game, Grandpa Simpson versus Geno Smith. Whack. Denver and Las Vegas. Whack. So, yeah. That's about it. But uh, everybody stay safe. Hit that subscribe if you already haven't. The notification if you already haven't. Share your boy videos. Help me out there. I know some of y'all are helping me out as well. So everybody stay safe. God bless.